Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about the cross join. The cross join is a simple join which will return all rows from both tables. Now there is no where clause used and uh, it is considered the least useful join and it is very very inefficient. Now what it creates for us is going to be a Cartesian product which we have talked about before and um, one thing you need to keep in mind with this join is that the actual cross join or the join keyword is not used. It is just implied by the syntax of our query and it is considered an extremely bad practice. Now let's go over an example that is going to imply the creation of a cross join. So we have already selected our Halali database. Now we are going to say select. Now let's select some columns. So the first column that I'm going to select, uh, I'm going to say from which tables first. So I'm going to say I'm going to select them from uh, from employees table. So I'm going to say employees. I'm going to alias it as E comma, and I'm going to select some columns from the departments alias as D as well. So now in here, I'm going to say E dot first name. So there we go, E dot first name. So from the uh, employees table, I'm grabbing the first name, also the last name. And from the departments, I'm going to grab the department name. Let's save this and let's go ahead and let's run this query. And there we go. You can see that we have basically we have basically grabbed um, uh, all the first names and the last name, and we have we have basically cross joined them with the department name from our um, departments table. Now the the problem with this query is that we have multiple tables, and there is no where clause in here. Every person from the table with the with every job from the last table with no matching logic or sense they have been joined together and in this case we know that we are doing something wrong because we don't know what it is that we are actually trying to extract here i mean we know that we have uh, uh, that the db has returned for us 440 rows but there is no logic or sense behind this extraction of data and this is an implied cross join all right, so with this, our lecture comes to an end. See you in the next one.